Marlo, you really made a whole ass of yourself this episode. And I really started to look at you sideways, but then again, I kind of feel pity for you because you clearly have a lot of issues. Let's talk about it. Hey Hampton Nights, it's your boy Hampton Spears. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing The Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 14, episode 13, a rum punch to the gut. Okay, so in this episode, the girls go to Jamaica. Jamaica, man. But, 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 but. You know, Sonya is hosting the trip. It's a couple's trip, even though Sheree um, brought her friend and uh, Marlo brought her florist um, slash friend. And Kenya brought nobody. But Kenya meets somebody at the damn resort. She thought, oh, he looked fine. And she ran up on him in that golf cart. She got his digits. And she took him to the dinner from hell, okay? Marlo, Marlo, Marlo. The nerve of you, right? The absolute nerve of you. During that dinner, you not only came for Candy, but you came for Drew and Ralph first. Getting in their business regarding whether or not Drew is going to adopt Josiah. Now, Marlo, that has nothing to do with you. Nothing. But you kept pestering, pestering, and asking more and more invasive questions to the point where it was uncomfortable, right? And I was uncomfortable watching it. I can't imagine how it was to be in it, right? And then, you know, everybody's looking at you like, what the fuck? Candy says something, and then you go off and go to Candy and just start throwing out all these things that you can say about Candy, every negative thing you can say about Candy, everything, everything, everything. And like, you look stupid. Like, you literally look stupid. It like, it doesn't equate or make any sense what you're saying about Candy. Candy is worldwide, darling. Candy is worldwide. And Marlo, what have you done? Like, I don't, what are you known for besides this show? Like, I don't know what you're known for. Like, your claim to fame is getting fucked by an old white man that gave you a whole bunch of money and you ended up on this motherfucking show. That's your claim to fucking fame. And for you to judge and come from this more high ground, bitch, you're lucky to even be here because a lot of them hoes didn't even want to fuck with you except for Nene. Okay? But, you know, and the fans were rallying for you to get on this show to be, to be, you know, finally get your peach, finally get your peach, right? And, you know, now that you have your peach, I'm seeing your childish, immature, petty, bitter, miserable ways. Marlo, you need help. Like, it was really unbecoming. And it made me look at you like, you're being a complete asshole right now. But I'm like, damn, like, what happened to you? And that voice, ah, ah, you want a wife, you want a wife. Like, damn, that voice, like, <coughs> it's making me cough even fucking do with the damn voice. But Marlo, like, this was absolutely crazy. But the resort that they're staying at looks really nice. It's a really beautiful resort in Jamaica. I really want to go to Jamaica. Um, you know, Todd's not drinking, you know, good for Todd. That drink looked really good. That was a bomb ass drink. You know, going back to Kenya and her man, um, no, not her man, the man that she met on the at the resort on the side of the road. <laughs> you know, um, Kenya paints this picture like, oh, you know, he was texting her, texting her, texting her, but, but in reality, he said, hi, how are you? And she was the one that brought up the dinner, right? So Kenya, you know, Kenya, you do kind of have a little bit of a loose relationship with the truth, darling. So, you know, yeah. But, you know, before the dinner, they go and meet at um, Kenya's hotel room. And um, they he brings a Red Bull, you know, not, no flowers, but a Red Bull. Hey, okay. And they drink a Red Bull. And um, they go to the dinner. The rooms look amazing, especially Sanya's room, right? That looked beautiful. The other girls' room was not on that massive scale, but they were still very nice. Um, she even gave Drew a good room. You know, that's that's good. That's really, really good. 
Monietta is with her man. The man is white, honey. She got her a white vanilla man, honey, and he is getting into the tea. If you notice during that dinner from hell, that white man was getting his life when Candy said, well, at least, but bitch, you ain't married. And he was like, he had to stop and like look away. That white man was getting his entire life. But, ooh, I bet that was so uncomfortable. And I think, did Kenya's man get up and leave? I don't know, did he? Because they said Gio left, or Joe left up and leave. I don't forgot what the fuck his name was. And apparently he was British. And he's 37, but he looked really young. I was like, oh, well, black dog crack hoodie. Oh, crap. And since, you know, we're talking about, um, you know, well, Marlo started bringing up, you know, Drew and Josiah, the adoption thing. I will say that um, I understand why Ralph doesn't want to adopt um, Josiah because he doesn't want to disrespect Josiah's biological father. Um, I mean, I, I, I understand it. He's writing a book, you know, I, I guess about the struggles of being a step parent. Um, you know, good luck. Uh, with Ralph um there's that um Drew's wigs are are nice I love the blue I love the blue but I do want to see what your natural hair looks like Drew I really do um Candy you held your own <clears throat> you held your own and really you gave Marlo too much life in my opinion like you really didn't have to you know because that's what she was looking for that reaction you know what I mean and you gave it to her so but I guess you are on a show. You have to, you know, make a scene to keep them checks coming in, honey. But um, I'm trying to think what else had happened during this episode. I mean, that was really it. Um, I'm looking forward to next episode because at another dinner, I guess, I don't know what's happening. I guess Sanya's husband tries to tell them to be quiet. And he's like, no, I can talk when I want to. And he's like, nobody disrespect my wife. And all this shit. And it, it looks like the husband's really getting involved because Todd was going back and forth with Marlo. And now Sanya's husband about to read the girls. I'm like, okay, bed. They getting the bitches together, okay? <laughs> all right, guys. That's all I have for this episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe comment hit that notification bell button so you can be locked into when i upload on this channel and i'll see you on the next what the next video